Good morning, Parkside. It's Mr. Daggett here with my fancy hat. Um, this is a hat that my dad wore often when he would go to Uganda on mission trips. And um, I got, I inherited it, so I get to wear it today. It is Thursday, April 13th. 13th? Thursday, April 13th, 2020. And I'm here today to do a little music lesson with you. But first, say hi to Jeannie. Say hi to your family. And let's take a trip around the world. Let's go Southern Hemisphere this time. Remember I told you yesterday about ending up in the middle of the ocean? This time I actually ended up exactly on the island called, oh, called the Cocos, always known as Keeling, which is, uh, it looks like a island that is owned by Australia or ran by Australia. It is in the middle of the Indian Ocean. The Indian Ocean is here between Africa and Australia and Indonesia and obviously India. So you can look up today, um, Cocos Island and see what it's like. I haven't seen anything about it yet, so I'll have to look that up after today as well. I hope you've enjoyed our trip around the world. And today we're going to do a, a little review of the hand signs and solfege. So, one of the cool things that I like about solfege is that in the United States, most people are used to using it like this. You can sing it on one note. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. And by start sing it, I mean start it. But you can start it on any note, and that note becomes do. So instead of do, I can go do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Or how about here? Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Or here? Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. Or here? Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. That's really high. <clears throat> Anyways, so it's really neat. You can listen to a song, any song you want, and then try to figure out what solfege they are singing. For example, the song um, sung by Katy Perry, Roar. I won't sing the lyrics because I don't really know them. But the melody goes like this. Hmm. What solfege is that? Ba-dum, ba-dum, bum. It's so, 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 me, me, re, re, do, do. So, 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 me, me, re, re, do, do. Do, re, me, do, re, re, me, so, me. Do, re, re, me, so, me. So, 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 me, me, re, re, do, do. See, see what I'm saying? I made a little mistake there for a second, but we can start figuring out different songs and what the notes are just by using solfege, okay? So, try that. You can listen to Roar by Katy Perry or any song you want, something that's maybe kind of simple um, or something even simpler like this. Do, do, so, so, la, la, so. Fa, fa, mi, mi, re, re, do. Mm. And then you can put hand signs to it. Now this is complicated. And I'll tell you what, if you're a kindergartner, first grade, second grade, this is pretty complicated. Okay, so don't worry if you cannot get it. Maybe just work on the sounds, but watch. If you're ready for a challenge, Here it comes. Do, do, so, so, la, la, so, fa, fa, mi, mi, re, re, do, so, so, fa, fa, mi, mi, re, so, so, fa, fa, Mi, mi, re, do, do, so, so, la, la, so, fa, fa, mi, mi, re, re, do. Again, you can 
play that video back and practice it, pause it whenever you want. But if you can sing on solfege and do the Kurwa hand signs on solfege to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, I'll give you 3 million points and an Air 5. And uh, you should brag about that to all your friends because that's pretty cool. And I got to tell you, most middle school students can't do that. Most high school students can't do that, even in choir. So try that out, okay? It's my challenge to you. Again, kindergarten first is second grade. Man, if you can do that in kindergarten, more power to you, okay? More power to you. So with that, from my home to yours, have a wonderful day. Enjoy your family. Enjoy yourself. Know that I miss you, and I'm excited to speak to you again tomorrow, and hopefully I'll see you at some point very soon. Have a great day.